the 14th question is pretty straightforward if you know the formula chances are that you don't and that's why you're here so I, i'll try to explain you how to get to the formula since we have two functions in the question start by taking two functions u and v and multiply them and instead of taking the integral let me try to take the derivative of the product okay so i am taking the total differential of u into v and you obviously know the product rule or at least i hope you do so that would be u times dv plus v times du now the trick is that we need to suppose u to be one of the functions from these these two okay and dv would be the other function okay so one of these would be u and the other one would be dv right and if i am successful in doing that i would be able to get to the answer okay so the next trick is to take the integral of the entire equation and by doing that what we have essentially done is that we would reach this formula plus integral of v times d now if one of the functions is u and the other one is dv the integral of u times dv would be u into v minus the integral of du times v now there is a trick as to how to choose which one should be the first function and which one should be the second one which which one should be the u and which one should be the v and that trick is called ilate so in this ilate i stands for inverse trigonometric functions l for log a for algebraic functions or polynomial functions t is for trigonometric and e is for exponential function and you need to choose u and v in this order so in in our given question we have a logarithmic function and an algebraic function so we would choose u to be ln x and we would choose dv to be the algebraic function that is x to the power n okay once i have done this i can figure out du which is 1 over x and i can figure out v by integrating this so that would be x to the power of n plus 1 upon n plus 1 now i just need to plug in the values so let me do that u is ln x v is x to the power of n plus 1 upon n plus 1 minus the integral of 1 over x into x to the power of n plus 1 upon n plus 1 times dx because obviously we would integrate it with respect to x and this is ln x into x to the power of n plus 1 upon n plus 1 we can pull this n plus 1 out and then integrate x to the power of n which would again be x to the power of n plus 1 upon n plus 1 okay and obviously a constant of integration now i would like to mention here that usually in the msqv exam they specify what types of integration they would ask and they always almost always ask a, a one or two question from integration so i would i would advise you guys to look at the syllabus and only study those topics from integration that are mentioned in it